Welcome to another video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, last video was so much fun where we implemented some AD Federation services. Now for this video, we're going to be going over performing some offline attacks. And as far as, as, far as a few outcomes we're going to do is we're going to be extracting some hashes from the system, cracking, cracking some extracted hashes, and also cracking passwords so we can actually go ahead and get started. All right, so first what we're going to do is we're going to start extracting some hashes from a system. Now, attackers use various offline attack techniques to hack the target systems. Offline password attacks, they're one of the categories in offline attacks, right? In this type of attack, though, the attacker tried to extract the password hashes from database files, such as the security accounts manager in the Windows operating system, right? And it's a database file in the Windows OS where the local user credentials are stored in the encrypted format. So what we're gonna do first is use the PW dump tool to actually extract the hash. So actually we're gonna start with the Hyper-B manager here. Now what the PW dump is, it's a hacking tool used for extracting password hashes. So I'm gonna actually do a few things to extract that hash using the, this tool here, right? So now I'm just actually going to connect to let's see 802 here uh, actually let me do that here and let's see let's see actually no right. right and we want to go to drive d here and oh so Turned off. What do you mean? Oh, <laughs> I said start. That might help, right? All right. So now the virtual machine is booting up in Kali Linux, right? So then once it's it's displayed, it will be able to go into forensic mode, as seen here. All right. Actually, going to maximize this now. What this does is in forensic mode, the internal hard disk of the device is never used and the auto mounting of removable media is disabled on the device. Now the virtual machine is just booting up again in Kali here. Um, and it should provide us the desktop to the virtual machine in just a moment. All right, so we finally have Kali fully loaded. So let's go ahead and get started. Just gonna take a look at the computer here. All right, perfect. So let's take a look here. Let's actually open this guy up here. All right, and then we need to take a look up here. Pretty similar concept to what we do in normal Windows here. is all right so now i'm looking for the config file let's see well folder rather <laughs> all right so let's see it should be sam file here you go hey buddy is all right Open the terminal all right so it's actually this word dump <clears throat> and also this this is case sensitive at least particularly to this to this command it has to be uh, system sam in uppercase and now um, what the PW tool is, it's just going to extract and display the hash of all the local user accounts stored on the system. So for the purpose of this demonstration, the PW uh, dump tool is going to extract and display the hashes of three user accounts. It's going to be administrator, uh, the guest, and I believe student two. Yep, student two here. 
So I'm actually going to maximize this. I actually need to copy it. So I'll be using it for a further task. Uh, let's see. Where is the student? It is just here. That's a bit weird. Where are five? I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put in a leaf pad actually. Or no pad, whichever. All right, I guess I'll just leave that terminal open nonetheless. <clears throat> so I'm just going to navigate now just to the group folder. So let's do that here. All right, so now we're going to navigate to the desktop folder. So we're going to use this command here. All right. Should be in desktop. Let's see. Change. Okay. There we go. All right. Now, now we're going to create a new text file on the desktop with this command here. text file there we go now the GN, gnu nano is a text editor in linux operate in linux os so the command is just going to open as you see here the uh, text editor and it's going to create a new text file uh let's actually name it <clears throat> Hmm. Okay. So let's paste. There it is. What we had from before the PW dump. All right. So now it's in the uh, the nano editor window, right? So it's just going to write the hashes to the file, right? And then we can actually exit. Let's see. All right, so now that we're back at the command prompt, we're going to check to see if a new text file is created on the desktop. So I'm actually going to minimize these windows here. Uh, actually, and there we go. We see our text file extracted underscore hash, right? So for the purpose of this demonstration, right? So the password for the student two user account from the extract hashes will be cracked. Now to crack a password, we're first gonna need to make a copy. So let's copy this. I'm actually, actually, you know what? I'll use the, the command terminal. Uh, let's see, where's that guy? Copy <clears throat> text. Right. That's because I can't spell. Perfect. So the command just creates a copy of the text file, right? So the new the new file created is 
to crack.txt, which is another text file. And we actually need to delete the hashes of the administrator and the guest accounts in that file. So to do that, I'm going to open it back up here. All right, so Perfect. All right, perfect. So we've deleted it and now we can move forward to um, to uh, the next step. All right, so now that we're back at the root terminal, we can move on to uh, cracking the extracted hashes. So to crack them, I'm gonna require a word list which is basically a text file that contains a collection of passwords and generally used in a dictionary attack. So I'm going to crack the hashes that were extracted from the previous exercise I just did, and I'm going to use the default word list, rocku.txt that comes with Kali Linux. And the word list comes compressed by default with most popular passwords. So let's actually use the word list. So let's actually uh, decompress it with the prompt. So let's do... Uh, let's see here. All right, there we go. Now the rock you text word list should be present in our default folder. All right. So now that I've executed that command, um, now we can move on to our next exercise, which is gonna be actually cracking the password. So there's various tools available, right, for us to crack the password. The tool John the Ripper, which is I've, I've used in another video, it's one, of the, um, it's one of the password cracking tools used to crack passwords, right? So just gonna use that tool, and then the root terminal, right? I'm just gonna actually clear the screen so I can have a clean one here, so I can open up John. All right, so John, here we come. We can do our bidding. Created directory, perfect. So now the, the password cracker tool, John the Ripper is used in the command with the format, the NT parameter. And so the Rocku text uh, file word list and the, the hash file to crack the text file are passed as parameters in the command as well. So now the, the, um, the tool John the Ripper successfully cracks the password for student to user account and a password finally shows for us here. <laughs> awesome. All right, perfect. So that brings us to the end of our video for performing off offline attacks. Uh, just for a brief recap of what we actually went over, we extracted hashes from a system, we cracked extracted hashes, and we also cracked a password for one of the user accounts that we had access to from extracting the hashes. All right, so this video was most certainly fun. And in the next video, we're going to configure, verify, and troubleshoot the GRE tunnel connectivity. I'll see you there. You stay curious and stay secure.